Today I'm going to show you how I sharpen my lawnmower blades. It's a quick, effective, rather inexpensive method of doing it. Uh, so let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is remove your spark plug wire. Simply like that. Then you want to tip your lawnmower over on its side with the air filter up, always. On most mowers, all you have to do is remove this bolt. Just find the right size socket on a super recycler. It happens to be a 5 8. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can either put a block of wood in here to stop the blade from turning, or just put some gloves on and uh, simply hold it. Or if you have an impact gun, you can use that as well. Be mindful of uh, the direction the blade's sitting. You put the blade on upside down when you're done, it's not going to cut very well. But this can use some cleaning up. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to grab an old paint scraper. You can use a metal one, plastic one. Probably doesn't really matter, but I like to get all this debris off as much as possible. It will help when you go to balance it. And as you can see on both sides here, there's some stuff. Just scrape it off. Don't need to go too crazy with it. Let's get this stuff off of here. This will work better. All right, that looks uh, pretty good. Okay, so to sharpen your blade, I like to use any angle grinder. I have this DeWalt 18 volt. I'm not even sure they make these anymore. Um, it's battery operated DeWalt, I've had it for years. The thing you're after though, is if you have one of these angle grinders, is this four inch uh, sanding disc. This is a 60 grit disc. Does a pretty good job of cleaning the blade up and getting it nice and sharp. Now, these are fairly inexpensive. They're about five or six dollars on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description below for you if you want to pick these up. Um, the other thing you might want to be interested in is a balancer. This is a, a, a balancer. Now, I'll show you how to use this here in just a minute, but you can also get these from Amazon. I think they're like seven dollars, pretty inexpensive, or I'll show you another way that, to balance them that's absolutely free. But I found this thing to be very effective and worth it. Uh, especially when it's pretty cheap, but we'll get to that. So to sharpen this, really all you have to do, you don't need a vise, you can use one. If you don't have a vise, um, you can do it like on the edge of the bench or tailgate of your truck, whatever you want. Just make sure you hold on to it, use a pair of gloves so you don't cut yourself. I mean, sometimes you can get this sharp enough that you'll cut yourself. Um, but just any way to secure it and get this angle. Okay, so you wanna try and match the angle of your blade here as close as you can. What I found is as you start hitting it with the sanding disc, you'll see where the uh, the disc is actually grinding. And once you get it, you'll see what I'm talking about here. But once you get it at the right angle, you can pretty easily see it. So if you see there, I don't know how well you can see that. I was tipped this too far this way, so I need to come down a little bit. Thanks. So if you can see that, I'm now getting the entire cutting surface. And uh, that's the angle you want to keep and just work your way all the way across. Okay, so I got this side looking pretty sharp. Feels good. 
Time to do the other side. This isn't looking too bad, but we'll clean it up anyways. better now sometimes you'll get a little burr on the back side here if you have a, a simple file just take a file and kind of work that burr off it doesn't take but that that's pretty much it that's good and short so let's balance it okay so like I said we can use this balancer to balance your blade and this thing's real easy you basically put the center hole where the bolt goes wherever on these little marks it fits. So these are designed for just about any lawnmower blade. This is real simple. Just put it on there, find the spot it sits, and if it sits level like that, it's, uh, it's pretty well balanced. Back out here so you can see. You can see how that's pretty well level, not rocking around, not leaning heavy to one side or the other. Now if it's sitting something like this, then you've took uh, quite a bit off of this side, and you just need to take a little more material off this side so that it sits nice and level. The other option you have, and I don't really like this method, but you can do it, is just a simple nail on the bench. And just hang it from the nail and see where it bounces. But see how that thing looks crooked already? Well, it was balanced on the tip. That's what I don't like. If your nail's not straight, or depending on where you place it in the hole on the nail, it affects it. So I don't really care for this method. If you shift it too far that way, it's real easy to mess this method up. See that? But it can be effective if you do it right. I wouldn't stress too much about where it, uh, where it exactly lies. I mean, if it's way off like this, then obviously something's wrong. But more effective would be this little tool hitter, and for only, you know, a few dollars, it's pretty freaking accurate. Get that sitting in there, right? There we go. But as you can see, that's pretty well level. So that's pretty much it. Let's put it back on the mower. Okay, while you have the blade off, now would be a good time to maybe inspect your belt if you have one. Um, clean the deck, which I've already done. Or you can just uh, put it back on. But it, it's a good time to clean the deck while you've got the blade out of the way. And to put this back on, one thing I usually do is I reference, you know, you can see the rust mark, the size of this versus the size of the backing plate. So I know that it goes back on this way here. The other way is the sharpening blade should be down, the lift part should be up towards the deck. I always try to thread it almost all the way in, make sure you don't cross thread nothing. Now, if you want to get real accurate, I'm sure there's a torque spec for this bolt. Um, I'm sure Toro recommends something, but I just get it tight. Same thing, hold on to the blade or you can use a block and tighten it up. And that's it. So how frequently you should sharpen your blade is really kind of dependent on your situation. Obviously, uh, a rougher, thicker blade grass, such as St. Augustine, is going to be a lot harder on the low lawnmower blade than like perennial ryegrass, which is really soft. So you kind of have to balance and figure out what works for you. For me, it's about every five or six mows. I just sharpen the blade. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I'll gladly answer them for you. Uh, if you found today's video helpful, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so. And we'll see you in the next video.